Okay, what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to use Fraps recording software to record from an external gaming console. There's actually only two pieces of software you need to do this, obviously Fraps, and the piece of software that's going to interface with the extra piece of hardware that you need, which is some sort of an external capture device, is called Amarec TV. It's a free piece of software, and I'm going to put a link to that in the uh, video description. So once you've got that, the only other optional piece of software you can download is Virtual Dub, and I use the H.264 codec to shrink the videos that Fraps creates because Fraps makes really gigantic videos, and for uploading them to YouTube, they just take an eternity to upload, and they're humongous. You can shrink them down pretty good with Virtual Dub um, without losing much video quality at all. As far as the uh, Fraps software goes, really not much you have to set up in here. Once you're on your Movies tab, just make sure that you got... Your frame rate set where you want it, I've got it at 60. Um, capture size, I've got full size. The only time you'd use half size is either if your CPU can't handle it or if you're recording from an older generation console that you really don't need to record it, you know, a full 1080p resolution, um, you might record it a half size. Sound capture settings, um, I have it recording from an external input because that's what I have the audio from my console routed out to. And I also have checked uh, Force Lossless RGB Capture. That gives you a little bit higher quality. Um, overall color reproduction is a little better when you have that set. Now, what I'm going to be demoing with today is uh, a Sega Genesis console. I'm actually recording straight from the RGB output of that. And it's going through an XRGB3 up converter, which converts to a VGA signal. Now, the tuner or the capture device that I'm using is called an Epifan DVI to USB 3.0. Um, these are pretty expensive. They retail for six or seven hundred bucks. I actually managed to get one on eBay auction for less than a third of that so I think I made out pretty good. Um, your computer has to have a USB 3.0 port to use it but this has a DVI input and you can record over VGA, DVI and I'm assuming I haven't tested it yet but you should be able to record over HDMI as well. Um, for HDMI or VGA, you just need a, one of those to a DVI uh, converter piece. So, once you have the software installed and you have your um, drivers installed for your tuner device, then you got the Amarec TV software. Now, as you can see, I've already got mine. Um, I got the Sega Genesis turned on and running already. I'll just run through a couple quick settings. There's really not much you have to do in here on your second tab here which is called graph one you're going to want to make sure that you have the device set that you're recording from which in my case is the dvi to usb 3.0 audio settings down here don't matter because even though this software has internal recording capabilities we're not using it for that we're using fraps to record we're simply using this as a screen interface the last tab that you might want to make settings changes on is going to be if you want to do any cropping. Now in the case of the Sega, I obviously don't need these borders here, so I'm going to crop those right out of my video. And that's real easy to do. There we go. Once those are set, you can click OK. Now if you're at all familiar with Fraps, you know that F9 is your recording key that starts and stops the recordings and F12 shows your frame rates. So you can see right now if I do F12 on here, you can see it's detecting a frame rate. I'll put it down there where you can see it. Um, when you start recording, obviously that's going to drop to 60 and you hope that it's going to stay at 60. Now since I also have an extra screen recorder recording in the background for making this video that I'm making right now, I'm not quite sure if my rates might be a little choppier than they normally are, but we're going to give it a try here. So we're going to shut off the frame rate display since I don't want that in my video. And you're gonna to wanna to go to full screen on this. Actually, if you double click in the picture, you go to a true full screen. Now, once you're there, you use your F9 to start recording. So let's go ahead and try this out. Now I can see it looks a little choppy on here, and I think that's just because of my uh, extra screen capture recording software that I got running. At the end of the video here, what I will do is I'm going to run this actual video that I'm recording now. I will run that through my um, virtual dub software, and I'll run that on to the end of the video here. Anyways, you can see the picture quality is really good there. 
once we're done all you got to do is F9 again to stop and when we go in to see our videos you will see that it's in here and there it is right there so that's what I just recorded like I said I will go ahead and append that on to the end of the video here that's really all there is to it. Like I said, if you want to use virtual dub, there's tons of tutorials online how to do that. You can use that to shrink your final video down, but that's really all there is to it. Like I said, as far as I know, you should be able to record from any console that has got that can interface with whatever capture or tuner device you have, and there you go. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, now I'm going to attach on the actual raw video that I just recorded. I can see it looks a little choppy on here, and I think that's just because of my uh, extra screen capture recording software that I got running for making this particular YouTube video. At the end of the video here, what I will do is I'm going to run this actual video that I'm recording now. I will run that through my um, virtual dub software, and I'll run that on to the end of the video. Anyways, you can see the picture quality is really good there. Once we're done, all you got to do is F9 again.